Hello guys, welcome back to another roller coaster battle. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Today I'm going to be comparing Expedition Everest at Disney's Animal Kingdom versus Verbolton at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. These are two family roller coasters that are really fun. I think they're very thrilling rides. I think two of them are through the coasters are two of the best family coasters out there. So without further ado, we're gonna compare these coasters and see which one is the better one. So without further ado, let's get started. First up, we're gonna start with the height category. And Expedition Everest sits at a height of 112 feet. However, the mountain is actually 199.5 feet. So it, the ride actually looks taller than it actually is. And then Verbolin sits at a height of like 88 feet, I think. I don't know, the official height has been released yet, but the drop height is 88 feet, so I'm just assuming it's 88 feet. So, but without further ado, we're still gonna give this point to Everest for being taller. So next up, let's move on to the drop category. And both coasters have fun drops. What I like about Expedition Everest's drop is that you plunge out of the mountain which is really cool and plus you get the iconic shot as well you can get a really good picture like in person and then Verbolin has a really fun drop too and fun fact Verbolin's drop actually pays tribute to the original Big Bad Wolf roller coaster if you guys remember that me and myself I never rode Big Bad Wolf but um I I do like how Busch Gardens Williamsburg did pay tribute to Big Bad Wolf with Verbolin's drop but anyways, I'm, I don't know, this is gonna be a tough one. I'm not including Verbolin's free fall drop. You know, this is a tough one, but you know, I gotta give it to Everest. I just like, this, I just like how you would just plunge out of the mountain. I just think it's amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to Everest here. Okay, next let's move on to the speed category. And Everest goes, reaches a top speed of 50 miles per hour, which I think it's achieved at the bottom of the drop. That's what I think it is. Comment down below if it's not. And then Verbolin reaches a top speed of 53 miles per hour. So we're gonna naturally give it to the faster coaster and that's Verbolton. And I think it achieved its speed at the second launch or the bottom of the drop, I don't know. But yeah, Verbolton gains the point. Next up is on to the smoothness category, and this is where things get a little interesting. Expedition Everest is a Vacoma, Verbolin is a Zero Coaster, and surprisingly, the Vacoma is smoother. I've ridden both these coasters many different occasions in different types of weather, and I can say that Verbolin is kind of rattly in some spots. And it's weird because Verbolin is newer than Everest. Everest opened in 2006, Verbolin opened in 2012. With Everest, I've always found it to be very smooth. One of the smoothest Vacomas out there, like, it's basically, it's almost butter. I mean, yeah, there might be just a tad shaking moment, shaking moments on Everest, but it's really nothing. Like, you don't feel anything on Everest, basically. So essentially, it's butter smooth. So Everest is going to gain the point here. <laughs> Which now leaves the coaster fight to be three to one. For Bolton, you're gonna need to catch up. Now let's talk about the airtime. And with Everest, you don't really get any airtime. You get just a slight amount of airtime at the bottom of the drop if you're in the back row. If you're in the front row, you essentially get no airtime. With for Bolton, you actually do get some airtime on the coaster. Like you get some airtime after the first launch and during the drop through the back row, you actually get a lot of airtime as well. So the airtime category is gonna to go to Verbolin. <laughs> so now let's move on to the intensity category. And Verbolin's gonna dominate this category by a long shot. Everest does not come close. Yeah, if you're in the back row on Everest or in the backwards section, you actually do pull some pretty good G-force, I will admit. It actually, like a lot of people claim that Everest goes upside down, which it doesn't. But it's just because the way how the G-forces play into that moment, especially in the back row, because it does kind of like a bank like that. It just, it's just amazing how it, you just feel like you're upside down. The G-forces just go really great with that moment. But for Bolton, my gosh, I think it's intense for a family coaster, especially after the first launch in the indoor section. Like, that is a very intense moment, especially this one, there's this one helix of Bolton that you actually like have a chance of blacking out. Like it's that intense. So I, I really like that in Verbolton. You definitely gray out. It is a very gray out worthy moment. And I actually blacked out on it too. So yeah, 
So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, Bourbon's definitely gonna gain the intensity point here. <laughs> now let's move on to the duration category. And the thing with when Everest is way longer in my opinion. So Everest is gonna gain the point. But Verbolin also is a decently long ride. So but the thing with Everest, the reason why it's a bit longer, I think I don't know, but I just feel like Everest is more of like a storytelling coaster. Like Verbolin isn't really a storytelling coaster. But yeah, Verbolin is a decently long long ride. And it definitely packs in a lot with its duration. I don't know, Everest just feels longer, so yeah, that's why I'm going to give it to Everest here. I mean, it is a storytelling coaster, so I mean, I get it. So, another point for Everest. <laughs> Alright, now let's move on to the pacing category. And the pacing on these coasters are pretty interesting. Everest has a decent pace, I'd say. I mean, it looks faster than it actually is because of the way the mountain works in with the attraction. And then Verbolin also has some pretty good pacing too. I mean, you definitely kind of slow down, but it's really only the brake runs. So we're going to judge this based off of without the brake runs. So Verbolin's going to gain the point here for the pacing category because you do feel like you're going a lot faster. I mean, the coaster, it does go faster, but I don't know. It just, you feel like you're going a little bit faster on Verbolin. So yeah, one point for Verbolin. <laughs> Are tied four to four. Next up, let's move on to the theming category, and this is a tough one because both coasters have some incredible theming. I mean, X Mission Everest has that gargantuan mountain, and videos and photos don't do justice. Like, if you walk, if you go in Animal Kingdom and you see the Everest Mountain in real life, you are going to be shocked by how big it is. Like, it's just it is humongous. Like. The way Disney did that, it was just insane. I mean, no wonder why Everest is the most expensive roller coaster. And also, it tells, like I said earlier, it tells a story with the roller coaster. Like, it's a storytelling coaster. I mean, you've got all these artifacts in the queue line. It's just incredible. And, like, they really made it look like a Tibetan village. And it's just awesome. And, like, also, even, like, during the parts where you stop, where the track switches are, it even has theming there. Like, how cool is that? Like, you got the broken track. At one spot, then the other spot has like a projection of the Yeti ripping out the tracks. It's awesome. And of course, you can never go wrong with the animatronic, even though it doesn't work. I actually do have a video of me explaining some of like some of the stuff about the Yeti, so you guys can check out the video if you want. I think it's my most popular video. But yeah, the Verbolin also has some really good theming too. The Verbolin's theming is no slouch. Like of course it has that building with all those like these lights, it's just awesome. Of course, it has a free fall track. Like, you can't beat a free fall track, let's be real. And then also, it just has, like, a really elaborate themed queue. And, yeah, just Verbon's theming is really good, too. And, of course, it has that obnoxious German lady, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm going to, but anyhow, I'm definitely giving the point to Everest. I'm sorry, Disney theming is just out of this world. So, yeah, another point for Everest. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the restraints category. And both coasters have lap bars. And honestly, this is a bit of a tough one because Everest, you get a ton of room. Like honestly, lap bars, they don't even touch you. Like that's just, that's just amazing. Like I've, I don't think I've ever had a ride on Everest where the lap bars touched me, which is amazing. And if, and if it has touched me, it's like barely. Like, and then with Verbolton, like you also have some really comfortable lap bars. So I don't know, this is a bit of a tough one, but you know, I'm gonna, I don't know. This is a bit of a this is a bit of a tricky one, honestly. But no, I might go with Everest because the lap bar doesn't even touch you. So another point for Everest. <laughs> and we are down to our last category, which is setting. And this is a little tricky because, of course, Everest they have that huge mountain. And then Verbolin also had, also like, you kind of go through water too. So I don't know, this is a little bit tough, but you know, I don't know, I'm gonna give it to Verbolin because of the water. Like Everest, like the mountain, I get it's just a building. Like, like it's not an actual mountain, but honestly the mountain definitely adds to the setting on Everest, even though it's basically out in the middle, a little bit of field. I mean, you get to have the lake. So I mean, I get that, but like, 
I don't know, the setting of Verbolt, I just really like having a rib, like a roller coaster on a river. It's just really cool. So yeah, Verbolt's gonna take that point. <laughs> However, we do have a winner here, as is the end of the coaster fight. Winning just by one point is Expedition Everest. So congratulations to Everest for winning. You have beat Verbolton at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I think both coasters are really fun. I really like both coasters a lot. I mean, Expedition Everest is, I think, the best roller coaster of all Disney World. And Verbolton is an absolutely fantastic ride at Busch Gardens, Virginia. However, Everest did win this fight. However, you, some of you might know, I do prefer Verbolton over Everest. But I think both coasters are awesome rides. So comment down below, which one do you prefer? Also, don't forget to smash the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Also, don't forget to check out Theme Park High Productions on Instagram for more updates and content. I'll see you guys next time. Have a theme-tacular day.